example. This method is what they call a shortcut method in the book. It's probably the method most of your parents know, because it's what I learned when I was in school a long time ago when the dinosaurs were on the earth. So um, this is the shortcut method. Let's do um, 64 times 38. Okay. I'm going to do this next part in another color, so it shows up a little better. So what's the first step when you're doing a problem like this? Yes, yeah, Sierra, what's the first? Four times eight. Four times eight, right, which is 32. 32. So we put down the 2 and regroup the 3 over to the tens column. Then the next, what's the next step in this one, anyone? Yeah, Kaylee? 8 times 6. 8 times 6, right, which is? 48. 48 plus the 3 that we regrouped, which is? 46. No. 51. Yeah, 51. 51, so we put down 51. So that's all for that, that row. When we move down to the next row, we're multiplying now by 10s. So we need to put a zero here, because we're going to move everything one step over. So what's our next step, Julia? Uh, three times four. Think of it as three times four, yeah, which is? Twelve, right. So we do the two and regroup the one. And I'm just going to sort of put it up on top of this other one we've already regrouped to keep track of where we are. What's our next step in this process? Do you know 3 times 6 is what? 18 plus the one we regrouped. So we write 19. Now we add all this up. 2, 3, 4, 1, and then 2. Right. Nice. So our answer is 2,432. So this is what we call the shortcut method. It's faster. The thing you need to keep track of is making sure everything is in the right column. Because if it's not, then you're going to add up to something that is not the right answer.